Oh, uh, Rachel, the male guy was bringing this up to you on my way in. Thanks, Evan. Uh, Rachel, is everything okay? I, I just, I dropped something. Alright, uh, can you let me know when Jesse gets here? Catherine, you look great. Thanks, Mr. Haven. Oh, call me Dad. <laughs> okay, if this is some attempt at bonding, then you're gonna be disappointed because that's not happening. I'm here to make amends, and that starts with getting justice for what Sandra put you through. You want me to press charges against Mrs. Haven? I found that room that she kept you in. It's beyond what I thought she was capable of. I knew she had a devious streak, but that room takes it to a whole different level. I'm glad you saw her for what she really is. But let's not pretend that you wouldn't do the same thing if the situation benefited you. You're angry because you've been duped. I kicked her out. I want a whole new start with you as my daughter. I'm not pressing charges because I want to leave that woman in my past. You're just going to let her get away with that? No. no child of mine just rolls over and plays dead. Maybe you should stop considering me your child then, like you did Kane. Goodbye, Mr. Haven. Um, obviously you never worked for a paper. I see a lot of brides. Oh, I have a very successful wedding photography business, but that was never really the plan. <laughs> well, I, I think you have a really great eye. Oh yes, I think these are lovely. But we unfortunately are not in the market for um, a photographer because we don't really need anyone right now, but we'll take some time and we'll discuss it. I appreciate mm. you taking the time to meet with Sure. Me. Thanks for coming in. No. What do you mean, no? No, we aren't going to hire him. We don't need him. We do need him. We can't keep relying on these paparazzi shots. I'd like to have one or two photographers that I can control. And what's he worth to you? What? Well, I mean, if I let you hire him, will you let me put Lucy Lodley on the front cover of Empire? You know I won't agree to that. Ah, oh, dear, then we can't hire him. That was easy. You're so much fun to negotiate with, Evan. Money isn't as tight as I thought it was before you went to Long Island. Really? I'm making ends meet here, hence tonight's reopening shindig. Alex, what did you do? I don't have any leads yet. I know he's been funneling money out of the trust fund, but I don't know who's been helping him. I'm on it. Being a lazy little shit. You're gonna ruin your life. Oh, screw you. What the hell do you say to me? No, Leslie, let go of me. Don't call me that. It's not how you talk to your mother, young man. Let go of me, you crazy bitch. Oh. Oh. Stop touching! Ow! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, is um, Sandra picking up extra prenatal vitamins for you? Yeah. Good. Lucy, I want you to take care of this baby. Look, Marin, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you what I asked you last night. No, 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 Lucy. I was a little taken aback by the question, yes, but I was so honored that you would ask me to raise your child. I think you and Evan would make great parents. And I'm nowhere near ready to raise a kid. Listen, I can't speak for Evan. I don't know what he'd say. But I will do everything I can for this child. Who's that? Marion, it's me. Can you let me in? Hide. The balcony? I just walked out of work. What? She is such a bitch! Theodora? I don't know how much longer I can take it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Evan. <laughs> I have no control there whatsoever. It's ridiculous. She's worse than my father. But she's worse than Thomas. Um, but sales are up, aren't they? What? I, I'm just saying that she has to know what she's doing somewhat. Fine. I'm sure she does. And I'm sure I could even learn something from her. But you know what? Not like this. She's constantly refusing to do anything I suggest just to put me in my place. By the way, nice job cleaning up. Excuse me? Well, this place was such a disaster two days ago that I couldn't even catch a glimpse of it, then you've done a good job cleaning because it's spotless. Yeah, thanks. You know, so tired. Scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> I should go back. I just needed to vent. Hey, I'm here for you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Mm -hmm. That's precious. Shut up. You know, if you do want to help him out, there is a way to get him out from under Theodora's thumb. What did you find out? Alex was funneling money out of my trust fund. What trust fund? <laughs> Our grandmother, May set up a trust fund for me, and I was never told about it. Get this, Cubby had access to it all these years. <laughs> Figures. And when he and my mother disappeared last year, they were taking money out of it to live. And a letter arrived here to alert me, but Alex intercepted it while I was in Long Island investigating their disappearance. He redirected all the correspondence to his secret studio, and he was taking money out of it on a regular basis, right up until... The bar's miraculous grand reopening. Exactly. Why would Alex steal from you? Do you really think that's what he was doing? Unfortunately, yes. He wouldn't take my help, but I'm guessing he figured a way to rationalize stealing from me. He probably thought he could pay it all back before I even noticed it was gone. Are you angry with him? I should be, but it just doesn't matter anymore. It's just money. I wish he felt like he could have come to me. I overheard Rodney on the phone, and um, whatever he's investigating has something to do with someone funneling money out of a trust fund. That's a strange coincidence, but I'm sure that's all it is. If Rodney was investigating Alex, he would have told me. I mean, why would he keep that a secret? <laughs> I don't know, Kane. I mean, he's being extremely evasive about the case, and it seems like something else was going on here. You are completely off base. Rodney would never keep that a secret from me.
Why, look who it is. I got your little present. What present? The gun. I have the slightest clue what you're speaking of. Don't play dumb with me. I could still expose you. I could tell all the Havens everything that you've done. Why would they believe you? They know how much you hate them. And you've got your little fingerprints all over this one. I covered my tracks. You think you're dealing with an amateur? You know, I've got plenty of evidence against you. It'll look like you were the mastermind behind all that money that was stolen from the Havens. Mr. Haven doesn't trust you. Who's going to care who trusts me when I tell them that you were the one who killed Alex?